Gary, must have been nice to experience a, a nice sunny day at the office as we got over Footscray at the Witten Oval on Saturday by 26 points and subsequently confirmed our spot in the final series. What did you make of that game? Yeah, it was nice, Sam, because actually was almost putting the old sunblock on and trying to actually cover this uh, old face so it doesn't get too <laughs> more weather beaten and damaged, but it was great. Nice big deck too, and of course the condition of the ground was really good. Maybe a little bit dewy just at the start, but after that I thought it dried out really nicely and look, I was delighted in our start. You can sometimes go into these games and you know that potentially a side, if you can just stop their, th their momentum early, it may then be not as hard as it, it seems to be from playing the game, but I was delighted with a five goal start. We probably should have been maybe one or two more goals, I thought. Mm -hmm. We missed some simple goals, but having said that, Footscray, they're a quality outfit really. They kept in it, and we probably played some really good ball movement patches of the game and had a bit of control but we never sort of seemed to get that on the scoreboard and at one stage there about halfway through the last I think it was only like 13 or 14 points of difference so from that point of view we steadied and we just were able to get goals through our good play and again as I said we probably shot ourselves in the foot at times because we gave them a couple of turnover goals but English I thought was probably the dominant ruckman on the ground after half time Angus Monfries has played well over 200 games of AFL footy and I thought his experience at times was, was really positive for them but yeah we'll take a just under a five goal win and trying to get some momentum going into this week uh, and we now know that it will be Box Hill on Saturday on the home deck of uh, Stanard Stadium it's obviously going to be a big step up there in, in good form and touch us up a few weeks back. Uh, where do you identify some of the areas that we'll need to step up this weekend? Well certainly we've got to be better when we've got the ball in hand because if we turn it over they're very very good at then obviously putting that into scoreboard pressure so depending on the conditions I'm not really sure whether it's going to be a little bit of drizzly rain around or not but so ball in hand we need to be better we also need to get our structures a lot better than what they were out at Box Hill and certainly when we don't have the ball our ability to be manic and force Box Hill into using the ball a bit longer than a bit shorter I think is going to be pretty important because they make you work, they shift you from side to side and obviously they're very very well coached and they did have a good win against us a number of weeks ago so we, we'll take some learnings out of that and we'll obviously do our uh, due diligence as we always do and try and give the guys an understanding of what's needed, get it implemented and yeah, hopefully continue on after this week in the finals. And this week will mark the 10th time in 11 seasons that we've qualified for the finals under, under your reign. You must be really proud of how the group has worked through various challenges this year to actually make the top eight. Um, but on the flip side, I'm sure you don't, don't want to be stopping and resting on your laurels anytime soon either. No, you don't, Sam. And look, you're right. I think there has been challenges all through the year. They've been fairly well documented. Some of the things we could have controlled and done a little bit better but the other things we can't so we never like to have excuses there's there's reasons I guess but we played another couple of kids on the weekend in you know young Matty King who was our 2000 and first player according to your wonderful <laughs> stats and uh, Jake O'Brien as well so he hasn't really played with us I think since just before we played Geelong out at Williamstown in one of those games that got shifted so you know he got some goals young Campbell Walker's been solid uh, getting red back obviously is uh, good for the group as well and young junior O'Sullivan got a couple of snags as well so well and all the young kids contributed and when you think there wasn't anything out of Geordie in relation to goals uh, Dylan Conway didn't play and Nahas didn't play so all in all that was positive now it's going to be different again mm. obviously there's an experienced Box Hill outfit out there on Saturday but we look forward to it mate 10 out of 11 years in the finals I hope that that just gives us a little bit of a taste of what we are capable of and I'm just being big on telling the boys we need momentum going into the finals so let's see if we can get that momentum after the weekend. Well Gary we know it'll be a big day for the entire footy club on Saturday and take this opportunity to congratulate you on your efforts so far and wish you all the very best of luck against the Hawks. Good on you Sammy and who's the malaka of the week this week boys? <laughs>